have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Welcome to episode... 45 of Box News. Here you see Call of Duty 2. Um, this one is for this review is for the Call of Duty series, not including the two new Modern Warfare games. So this is covering Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, and World at War. Basically, all the games that have taken place in uh, World War II. Uh, here we see gameplay from the Xbox 360 of Call of Duty 2. The uh, attack on um, D-Day. The thing I, I really enjoy about the Call of Duty series is that they're very historically accurate for the most part. They, uh, they aren't just, I don't know, I, I like the modern games, but I do, I like learning stuff from battles. I like going to locations, I like reliving moments in history, I feel like you learn stuff from the game at that point. Um, As you can see, the, the drama of the game and just the, the intensity of the game is heavy. This is not by any means a fun battle or a happy time in our history. If you know anything about history, this is a very important battle that the Americans um, and other forces had to overcome. If you de I definitely recommend uh, looking up some history books and learning more about this war because it was one of the most important wars in our history. And that's why I really enjoy the Call of Duty series over the Modern Warfare series. Yes, it's nice to shoot some modern guns and use modern technology, but honestly, anyone can make those games and it seems to be the popular trend that everyone is trying to do now. Now, this game, Call of Duty 2, was made by Infinity Ward, who if you're familiar with has made Modern Warfare 1 and 2. The other company that made the Call of Duty series uh, was Treyarch. They made number one, number three, and World at War. So it used to be they were going back and forth. Now Treyarch is actually making the new Black Ops game, which is supposed to jump around in different time periods. We're supposed to get a, a variety of warfare ranging from different wars. Um, so that should be an interesting game. But see, this game, obviously you don't have the the nukes getting dropped on you, you don't have the radar, well I mean you have a compass down there which I mean it works as a modern radar, compass obviously doesn't pinpoint where all your troops are. 
But the story of these games have always been fantastic. Even in Modern Warfare, they had a great story. But, like I said, you go through historical important battles throughout the history. You're really getting messed up. I have Andrea Lana here playing the gameplay for me. Um, so I can try to focus on talking about this. Just you gotta say that, say that so you can <laughs> save face. So I don't, so I don't look like I suck on camera. Ugh. <laughs> but no, um, you know, this is just a, a fantastic. Yeah. You are getting annihilated. I am not very good. <laughs> this is, you know, you can find at your local game stores. Call of Duty Two is honestly, you can get it for five bucks. If you want just like a, a shooter game to pick up and play for a while, and you're sick of you know, the other shooters, pick up this one. There is Xbox Live available for it, so you can play online. What are you doing? Oh, kill <laughs> Oh, God. She's just running and gunning, <laughs> folks. She thinks she can take out the German troops um, single-handedly. You, you, you weren't able to. <laughs> no. Someone tells me they're a little bit stronger than me. Now with this game, you do jump around to different militaries. You do, uh, what is it, French Army is one of them? I think you do the, f yeah, yeah. French Army is one of them. You jump around basically playing the role of a certain character. One of them is a private, one's a different, you know, role or rank in, for an officer. And you jump around and play their stories, basically. And it kind of, it kind of gives you a brief uh, story about where they come from with different things. Uh, some are there to rescue them, some found out about their brother. No, it's not Saving Private Ryan, but it's, I mean, it's a well-written story, even if you can add much story to a first-person shooter like this. But like I said, the historical value of the game is amazing. I would give the series as a whole, i give a solid B. I, I really don't, you know, what they could do to improve it. Making, you know, bigger campaigns, longer campaigns. I mean, I'm satisfied with the 12 plus hour campaign. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of game time. And back at 2, the emphasis wasn't online, so they had a better you know, story back then. And just, like I said, all I can say is the historical value of these games is, you know, wonderful. Anything you want to add that I, I feel like I missed? you played all these and beaten them all. I like them. I really do. And I'm not a big fan of, like... It's hard to impress me with a first-person shooter, but the stories are amazing. Now, I mean, I don't want to talk about the online because I'm awful at it, obviously. I you know, know that's hard to believe. Well, mind. 2 is limited. They really only had, like, Deathmatch and Capture the Flag. Right, but the series as a whole, now, is known for the online. Which, I don't necessarily like. Well, it's Modern Warfare. That's a game that kicked it into a gear. And Call of Duty's been around for a long time. Number 2 is one of the first games I got for the 360 when it came out. I think I got it back, what was that, back Christmas? Yeah, I, I could, I don't even know how that. So, I mean, it's... But you did get one of them for Christmas. It's quite know. old. We're looking at, this game right here is about five years old. So, I mean, the graphics are, you know, good. They're not amazing. But, I mean, for the launch of a system, this is, you know, fantastic. This game does really capture the intensity of the battle. Not that other games don't. But Call of Duty as a series definitely is the leading uh, war game out there. I know Medal of Honor has been around. They're relaunching their series here this fall. Um, so I guess we'll have to see you know, how Modern, or Medal of Honor does. Um, I, there's another one out there too That's, that was in contention. But those were the two big ones that I had always played on. On the PlayStation, I played Medal of Honor, and then when Xbox came out, I started playing Call of Duty. But it's a great series. It's, you know, obviously the numbers and sales really tell the story that this has been a successful series. I'm pretty sure Call of Duty 2 was Game of the Year when it came out, or best selling, anyways. And obviously we know the history of the Modern Warfare games, which originally were called Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but now they dropped that because of Infinity Ward and Activision and all those bastards with all their money and their lawsuits. <laughs> so yeah, big F you to you guys. You guys are all crazy and money hungry. And EA, you too. Here's one for you. But anyways, not enough of my anger towards those companies. But uh, yeah, 
great, you know, great game. Um, any last things? Out? What would you grade it? Are we talking about the series as a whole? Series as a whole. Oh, the series as a whole. It's okay. It's an a. Yeah. What are What are your most memorable battles in the series? Like, uh, this one for the DJ battle, and uh. Oh, they are all in there. Don't worry, I got them. <laughs> Silly German. Yeah, they should have concentrated. Maybe they should go to camp. Hey, hey, hey! hey it's so in an era. I'm just kidding. We're in oh, the era. those are mine. Let's not go okay. walk in there. Um, I'm dead. No, I, I think the, the series as a whole is pretty good. Unfortunately, I think they stopped focusing on the story and started focusing too much on online because that's what everybody bought the games for. And it suffered because of it. The, mo the modern story isn't as interesting to me as the, the, historical, the historical ones. But people like the game and... People like the online. Yeah, which I'm not good at. If I was better at it, maybe I'd like it more. But well, it's all the hacking and modding and... and, awesome. and my feels, my feels, my feels. But, um, yeah, definitely... Pick up any Call of Duty game, you're going to be pleased with it, but parents, it's not for kids, as you can see, there is violence. So, uh, I it's definitely... It's a war game. If you're a parent buying a war game for your kid and not expecting it to be violent, yeah. you're an idiot. <laughs> and I don't feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if you want your kid to learn something, slightly, pick up uh, one of the older Call of Duty games, because you're really not going to learn anything from the new ones. <laughs> That we don't already know. Yeah. Or, war, war is never... A, or that you can't already get in Fox News. Fox News? Or Fox News. Ooh. Um, anyways. Thank you for watching this review on Call of Duty series as a whole. Like I said, this does not include the two Modern Warfare games. I already did a review on that. So look for that if you're interested in hearing what I have to say on uh, the Modern Warfare series. But thank you again, and... Uh, yeah, any any last thing? No, that's okay. Subscribe or else. <laughs> that's right. Shoot his knee out. Well thank you again and uh, have a wonderful day. <laughs>